Hey everybody, I'm doing a big water change on my waterfall tank here. And while I was cleaning out the bottom of the tank, I was using my siphon there to vac the gravel a little bit. This tank accumulates a ton of mulm and even dirt and soil that drifts down from the big planted section up above here. And so this tank always gets a good gravel vacuuming every time I do a water change on it. And I always remove loads of stuff. So recently I shot a video about nitrates and one of the sort of recurring themes that kept coming up was something I thought about a long time ago and actually uh, did a little study and a little research into and concluded that it is not actually true. And what that is, is the idea that nitrates will accumulate where the mulm and detritus accumulates. In other words, if you lifted up a rock that's never been touched in your aquarium, there's probably a bunch of crud under there. Even if you uh, keep your gravel well vacked, you know, under stuff is still going to accumulate crud. And the idea is, is that there's extra nitrates in that crud or something. That is absolutely not true at all in any way. I've done test after test and the nitrates you will find, you can scoop up that stuff so it's all gross and nasty and I've even done it in the bottom of my um, canister filters before I've scooped up some of that gross stuff in the bottom of the canister filter versus stuff in the tank and the nitrates always come out exactly the same the nitrates are suspended in the water column they're not really contained in anything when the nitrifying bacteria in your tank that that is responsible for your nitrogen cycle as it's breaking down the ammonia, the, 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 the bacteria itself lives on surface area, but as it releases its waste products, those waste products get released into the water column, flushed away, if you will. And then, you know, the ammonia gets broken down into the nitrite, which is in the water column, which then gets moved around over the bacteria again, which then gets broken down into nitrate, which once again is released into the water column. So I had always heard that these canister filters were nitrate traps and somehow that they collected nitrates and everything. And I just, that never made any sense to me. And so I did a bunch of testing and I found out that it's not true. But what you can say is true is that something like a canister filter or one of these really dirty spots in your tank, what you can say that is, is actually a nitrate factory. It's just debris in there it's detritus it's organic matter that's breaking down and if you let that collect the more organic material you have breaking down the more ammonia it's going to produce which is going to ultimately result in more nitrate being produced so you do a great big water change you get your nitrate levels way down and then you suddenly find that they're climbing back up again really fast and you don't know why because you're barely feeding the tank that's probably why you've got something like that going on in this tank You've got to remember, when we're talking about, you know, organic material breaking down as being the source of um, nitrates, you know, ultimately it's the source of nitrates. It starts as a source of ammonia, and then that gets broken down into nitrite, and then ends up as nitrate. But it's organic material. It's not just fish food and fish poop. And if you look, look at the degree of organic material I've got in this tank that's just breaking down and decaying. I mean, I've got this huge piece of wood right here. A lot of people don't think of woodwork in their tank as contributing to their bio load. But that's organic material that's breaking down and decomposing. All of these little dead leaves that fall in there and settle to the bottom, all of that contributes to the increase in bio load in your tank. You're actually putting, you know... Um, organic material in the tank that is then breaking down it's being broken down by the um, you know just the decaying process and that's producing ammonia and then that adds to your bio load that adds to how much nitrates are ultimately going to end up in your tank so I'm actually doing a nitrate test on this tank right now I'm actually letting it bloom for a few minutes and it's been five minutes now so we can probably go uh, check it and have a look at it but this tank with all of this vegetation in it it's not really heavily stocked for a 40-gallon tank, but it's, you know, it's reasonably stocked for a 40-gallon tank. 
and it's got all of that vegetation on it that is thriving and growing and doing well. Now this here is in a separate planter, but all of this stuff is part of the waterfall system and all of that is pulling nitrates out of the water. And I still do a water change on this tank, a very significant water change on this tank every, I don't know, every week to 10 days on the outside is. So let me put you on pause and we'll go over and we'll check and see what the uh, nitrate test looks like on this. And then we're gonna wrap it up because the tank's almost full. Well, I'm happy to say that if we ever get our focus in here, uh, we're not too bad. If we ever get our focus in, there we go. Um, not bad at all. I was actually expecting it to be red just because all of my tanks always come up with a red. Um, I don't know why we're not focusing here. Oh, I've got, I bumped the autofocus. That's why. There we go. So that, believe it or not, is the water that came out of that tank. I'm shooting a before and after video and I talked about how tannin stained it was. I said it was well on the way to looking like coffee instead of tea. And that gives you an idea. Even that small amount of water is that stained with tannins. And there is my nitrate value for that tank. So I hope that was helpful. Hope that was food for thought. I'd love to hear your comments, questions, whatever. Put them down below. Don't forget to check out my email if you're interested in plants. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Don't forget we were looking at my waterfall tank. And I will see you on the next one.